hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video as you might have already seen my thumbnail and title we have another company coming up as a competitor for google data analytics certificate and the company is none other than microsoft so microsoft has recently launched a course power bi data analyst professional certificate so when microsoft launched the certificate i thought of a program which is none other than the google data analytics certification so i thought why not i make a comparison video also i thought why not look into what is the certification provided by microsoft and do a comparison between the two programs and see which one is better and what kind of audience can utilize these programs so let's get started first and foremost thing i have noticed in this website in the coursera website is that 1168 people are enrolled to the course uh, as as of the day when i visited the page this course is basically a beginner level course and they claim to say that it takes around 5 months of your time if you keep aside 10 hours per week in this certification they claim that you you will gain skills such as microsoft excel data analysis power bi power query and sql they also mention certain things that we will be learning through this course and one of the few are you will first initially learn how to use power bi to connect to data sources and transform them into meaningful insights uh, the next thing is they claim that you will learn how to prepare excel data for analysis in power bi using formulas and they also claim they that we will be able to learn and use visualization and report capabilities of power bi to create dashboards and reports and finally they also provide a capstone project to demonstrate these skills and the biggest interest or the catch is here in this certification program is that they pr provide preparation and practice tips for attend for the exam called pl 300 certification exam so the next thing that i looked into is that there are around seven courses one capstone project and another one dedicated play resource for preparation and practice for the exam pl 300 now let's dive into each of these courses and see what are we going to learn under each of these seven courses so the first course is named as preparing data for analysis in this course they, they mention how to create a data in microsoft excel and prepare it for analysis they also tells us how to make use of certain formulas and functions in the worksheet and they also helps us to understand how to prepare excel data for analysis in power bi using functions the second course is harnessing the power of data with power bi in this course as per the course title is you can literally know you can literally see that the some of these techniques that you are going to learn in this course is going to be relevant to power bi so for example they say that we will be able to learn how to recognize and use key data analysis components of power bi they also says we can understand how data analysis is done uh, understand the power bi data analysis skills and tasks and tools and they also describe different stages of data analysis process so i think this course is very important as it starts with how you can how they it starts with explaining the data analysis processes with respect to the power bi microsoft power bi tool the third course is extract transform load in power bi so extract transform load as i have already mentioned in several uh, course websites or reviews uh, in my videos is extract transform load is nothing but an etl process where you have to do basically a data manipulation so in this course particularly microsoft wants us to learn how to how to set up a data source how to prepare for data modeling by cleaning and transforming how to use profiling tools and finally how to ref reference queries how to reference queries and data flows so i think the third course is more technical heavy course with respect to your uh, de analyzing data using power bi tools and functions the fourth course is titled data modeling in power bi and and in this course we will be learning how to form a model using star schema how to write calculation dax to create elements and analysis in power bi and how to optimize performance of power bi model so i think this is another critical course in uh, with this with respect to a lot of courses here in microsoft power bi certificate program because i've seen several posts in linkedin on linkedin talking about how to create dax functions in power bi so i think this is one of the most important course that one has to 
Keep an eye on if you are looking forward to expand your skill in Power BI and data analysis. The fifth course title is Data Analysis and Visualization with Power BI. Now we are a little bit diving into a transition from data analysis into visualization. So the course certificate tells us that we will be learning how to add visualization to reports and dashboard, how to design accessible reports and dashboard and how to use visualization to perform data analysis. So this is all about data visualization guys. I think this is where you will get a lot of you will get to try certain things in, in a creative side of the Power BI. So I think it will be more interesting for all the people who are interested in uh, expanding their skills in data visualization. And the sixth course is titled as Create Desi Creative Designing in Power BI. Just when I said about creativity, I think the transition has been smooth from data analysis, data visualization and creative designing. So in this course, the, the, the Microsoft tells us that we will be learning how to create compelling and coercive reports and data dashboards, how to work in detail with specialist charts, how to add elements such as videos, streaming data or, and QR codes to, to the dashboard. Now this is very interesting for me as well guys. I, I, it's, it's fascinating to see that we can also use and embed a lot of video and uh, other relevant uh, social media things into the dashboard so i think this is also another course that's very important for the people for people who would like to dive into the world of data visualization final course little does deployment and maintain the power bi assets along with the capstone project in this course we will be learning how to create a, and publish an app in power bi how to implement dynamic reports in power bi and finally how to implement security measures and alerting in Power BI reports. So uh, this is the final thing as, as, uh, as you all know that only when you deploy a certain function or a model that's when stakeholders or the end users start using the product. So in this lesson you will learn all about deployment and uh, you, there is also a capstone project where you will be given a problem statement or a use case where, and you will have to use make use of all the skills that you have learned till now. And the, the, the catchy thing here in this Microsoft course is that they also have a dedicated section for preparation and practice of the exam called PL300. It's a certificate program offered by Microsoft and here they will tell you how to prepare the data with Power BI, how to model the data in Power BI, how to visualize and analyze the data with Power BI and finally how to deploy and maintain Power BI assets. So this is a revisiting of each of these courses but with the help of cracking the exam so i think they'll be giving a lot of tips and tricks on how what the questions would be like and how you could uh, potentially answer them in order to pass the certificate so these are all the de details about the certificate program guys and now let's dive into what's the difference uh, uh, between microsoft data analytics bi certificate and the google data analytics certificate so let's dive into that First and foremost difference I noticed here is that the Microsoft program here is is only for about five months, wherein ten hours a week is dedicated. And for the, and for the Google, they says that you will have to have it's a, it's a six months program where ten hours a week is, is also dedicated. So this is and the second thing is obviously there are seven courses and one capstone project along with one dedicated section for how to prepare and practice for the PL300 exam and this is for the Microsoft and for the Google you will see there are seven courses again and one capstone project. Third and very important difference that I noticed between the two certification is that the structure of the course. So the first and foremost I noticed is Microsoft has started structuring by diving the directly into preparing data and stuff like that with, re with respect to Power BI tools. However, in Google, it is fascinating to know that Google did not go straight, did not dive straightly into the uh, data analytics. However, they made an, a foundational understanding of what is data and how an associate or a junior data analyst uses data in a day-to-day -day job. So, uh, Google has taken a little bit of effort. Fourth uh, difference that I noticed is that Microsoft has um, explained this whole course with respect to analysis with Power BI tool whereas 
in google data analytics program it's more generalized they specifically talk about the techniques on how to do your data analysis rather than with respect to any tools so uh, and if you look into if if they have used any tools for example you can see google has used tools such as tableau and r programming for uh, explaining certain examples and how to do data analysis so google did not use its own uh, tools or um, softwares but rather than it uh, made made use made use of uh, tools that are widely used in the businesses and organizations such as tableau and r so that's about it for the difference guys these are the few significant differences between the two certifications in terms of audience i, I feel that people who are more inclined into taking power bi are uh, can take up the microsoft certification whereas people who wants to expand their skills across different tools can uh, take up google data analytics course because they speak about data analysis processes as well as other tools uh, made use of other tools like tableau and r programming so that is all about the video guys i hope this was useful and uh, let me know if you are interested in or taking up this course already and uh, until next week bye